As a new or even experienced Amazon seller, we're constantly looking for new ways to do our product research as well as verify that our product will be successful. In today's video, we're gonna take a deep dive in AI product research and everything you need to know. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Andre and I've teamed up with AMZ Scout over the past two years, sharing my different successes and how you can implement them into your own Amazon business. Today will be no different as we'll take a look between two widely popular AI tools, DeepSeek and ChatGPT, to evaluate both using the same prompts, the different results that they have, and more importantly, how to validate your findings. It's an interesting time we're in right now and one that's never really happened where it's never been this easy to do your product research, but in the same breath, it's never been this competitive. That's why you need to make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because I'll share a free list of prompts you can use for deeper product research. Before we jump into some of the prompts we'll use on our AI tools, let's talk about why product research is so important and ultimately it comes down to finding the right product to ensure your success on Amazon. You'll need to consider factors like product demand, competition levels, profit margins, the size and weight of your product, and more. All of these variables need to come together in order for you to be successful on Amazon. In today's video, these different props are gonna push you in the right direction. Our first prompt is, I'm planning to sell a private label product on Amazon, but I don't have a specific product or category in mind. Can you provide a step-by-step -step guide on how to choose the right products, including the key criteria, including demand, competition, profit margins, size, weight, and more? I should use to evaluate their potential for success. As you can see, the first prompt is intended to really set the foundation for what the AI tool will be helping us with and giving us that chronological process. Our second prompt is based on current trends and projected growth, which five categories are expected to be the most profitable for private label selling on Amazon in 2025? Please include insights into why these categories are promising, such as market demand, competition levels, and potential for differentiation. Now this second prompt is designed to give us more specific details like the specific niches that are gonna stand out from the rest. Our third prompt is, using the five categories identified earlier, can you suggest 10 specific product ideas that are suitable for private label selling on Amazon? For each product, please explain how it aligns with the key criteria of demand, competition, profit margins, size and weight, and the differentiation potential. Additionally, highlight any unique selling points or opportunities for branding. As you can see in the third prompt, we've now identified actual products that we can go through and start to pick and pull out and see which ones we like. Our fourth and final prompt is which of these product ideas is better and why? Let's start off with the first prompt in both AI tools and see the differences and similarities in their responses. After putting our first prompt into ChatGPT, it gives us a five-step process that involves brainstorming product ideas for step one, product research using specific metrics for step two, getting a sample unit for step three, placing your order to ship to the fulfillment centers for step four, and finally, creating your listing and running promotions for step five. DeepSeek is slightly more in depth with two extra steps that ChatGPT didn't have. One of them was calculating your profit margins using the AMZ Scouts Profit Calculator. The Profit Calculator can work directly on the Amazon website for a product you're browsing and give you the ability to see all your FBA fees, profit per unit, net margin, ROI, and estimated monthly profit. For our next prompt that focused on which categories the AI tools would choose, the ChatGPT had health and wellness products, home and kitchen appliances, beauty and personal care items, pet supplies, and eco-friendly products. DeepSeek actually had three of the same categories, but picked two different niches that were home and organization and tech accessories. For our third prompt focused on actually finding products, the ChatGPT came up with two products per niche and a couple that really stood out to me were multiple function blenders and the smart food scale within the home and kitchen appliances. Now for DeepSeek, I did notice they mentioned the same products under sustainability and eco-friendly products, which was this reusable silicone food storage bag. So that's a good indicator that the product is really doing well in the niche. A product that DeepSeek mentioned that I didn't see on ChatGPT was this LED light therapy mask under the health, wellness, and personal care. 
Now for our fourth and final prompt that was focused on saying which of these products was better and why, looks like both AI tools actually chose the same exact product, which was the reusable silicone food storage bags. I think it's pretty ironic that both of these AI tools ended up choosing the same exact product, even though they started with slightly different niches and products within those niches. Now that we've landed on a product, it's time to validate the idea by using the AMZ Scout Pro I extension. Once you open the Pro I extension on the reusable silicone bag niche, you'll see all these different metrics at the top showcasing number of sellers, average monthly sales, monthly revenue, the average price, number of reviews, and one of the most important figures being the niche score. Let's break each one of these down and tell you whether they are good or bad for the product's resellability. Starting with the results of listing, I typically like to see this number under 75, so we look good here. Next is the average monthly sales figure, which I like to be above 1,000, so again, this looks great. Moving on the average price, I personally like to see products over a price point of around $30. Just because anything too much cheaper than that, your profit per unit becomes smaller and smaller, and you really need to play the volume game in order to make the desired amount of money. Next is the average reviews. Now typically I like to see this number to be below 500 and we can see that this one's almost 3000, just showing there are some strong established sellers in the niche with tons of reviews who will be hard to compete with. Lastly, the niche score of seven. This number is out of 10 with the higher the number being better. Typically, I like to see this number to be seven or higher, so we're good here as well. Some other really helpful tools on the AMZ Scout Pro AI extension is when you click on a product, there will be a drop down here that will give you all these different options and features. One of them is add to tracker, so you can start to track some of this product's metrics. The profit calculator, which we've already seen in this video. The product history, which gives you the price history as well as the sales volume over a duration of time. The AI product analysis. This is one of my favorite features on the ProI extension that's actually a new feature. After you open the AI product analysis tab, you'll be able to see the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, and give you some really key points within each. Also, you'll be able to track the AI product improvements. Now the product improvement tips, this is gonna be your rationale and the estimated impact on metrics. Also talking about your conversion rate, sales, revenue, revenue count, and customer perception. Another one of the quick features that I love is the get keywords feature. Once you open up this tab, you'll be able to see a bunch of the keywords that are highly used within the niche that you can incorporate into your different PPC campaigns as well as your listing. Lastly, probably one of my favorite features is the Find Supplier tab. Once you click on this, you'll be able to use the Alibaba feature, which will bring up the product made directly on Alibaba using a reverse image software. All in all, the reusable silicone bags look to be a pretty good product, especially when taken into consideration, we didn't do too much product research to find them. What is important to note is that we did have to validate the information by using tools like the AMC Scout Pro AI extension, which did show the product was not absolutely perfect, as most products are not. It's also worth mentioning that AI tools rely on older data. DeepSeek's knowledge cutoff is October 2023, and ChatGPT cutoff is June 2024. This again shows us that we can't just rely on these different AI tools to do the entire product research for us. We need to use other tools like the AMZ Scout Pro AI extension to validate our findings and ensure that we're investing in something that's worth it. If you want to get a full list of prompts I use in this video, plus additional prompts for deeper research, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below with the hashtag prompts and I'll send one over for free. That's it for today's video. If you guys have questions about any different parts of today's video, make sure you drop it in the comments down below. We'll get you going in the right direction. As always, if you found value to this video, make sure to smash that like button. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.